Hello everyone, I'm Connie. Today I'm excited to share my thoughts on a history book titled A Step into History World War II by Stephen Otvinovsky. With over a hundred books to his name, he undoubtedly is a talented writer. World War II is a well-known conflict, but there's actually few people who clearly know what happened in World War II. Because Otvinsky describes and analyzes it in detail, this book will definitely solve your confusion and renovate your understanding of World War II. After two decades of World War I, World War II broke out. Otvinsky bravely blamed it on the Great Depression. In the prologue, the author mentions that the Great Depression made Germany change to a new leader full of ambition and desire to conquer all of Europe. This new leader is Adolf Hitler. <clears throat> Although this book just bravely describes the reason that caused World War II, it did a great job of analyzing the key incidents during the war. For example, Blitz Creek, Pearl Harbor, and the creepiest one, the Holocaust. Blitz Creek happened in the beginning of the war. It was a quick attack in the war. Pearl Harbor happened at the end of the war. It referred to the sneak attack of Japan to Hawaii's harbor. As for the Holocaust, it was a horrible action to exterminate the Jewish plan by Hitler. The Germans brought Jewish to a camp to make it easier to kill them, which was called a concentration camp. In chapter 16, the author even put a picture about the Jewish children standing behind barbed wire at the concentration camp. It really makes me intolerable and angry. This book has some parts that give me a very deep impression, including portrayal of concentration camp and the famous saying from central char characters. My favorite one is in chapter 8. Franklin Roosevelt said, We are all in the same boat now, to Winston Churchill on the day of Pearl Harbor attack. It means that Japan now is the United States and the United Kingdom's common enemy. One of the books advantage to me is Otvinsky integrates a comprehensive timeline at the end. Give me a chance to review the content of the book. Additionally, other advantage is each chapter has at least one image to help instructions and show the authenticity of book's content. One drawback I found in this book was that sometimes the author used arrows to indicate additional explanations, but these details are not directly written in the text. I think this will make some readers confused. Furthermore, I believe that the eruption of World War II is not only because of the Great Depression. The Treaty of Versailles, which punished Germany harshly after World War I, leaving the Germans very discontent and desire for revenge. Otvinsky analyzed World War II in detail and wrote this excellent book. I wasn't a huge fan of this kind of book, but I think it might appeal to the fans who are interested in war history. In conclusion, I'll read this book 3.5 stars. Although the content doesn't perfectly match my preference, I'm still very respectful of this book because I know the author put a lot of time and effort into the book. That's all. Thank you for watching my book review.